Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will just show you how to print a 2x3 photo to put in your memory keeping planner. Now this is the cheapest way to do it without having to buy a specialized printer for it. First, you're gonna need to get a photo paper. You have the option to get whatever brand of uh, photo paper you want, but I usually just get this Polaroid premium photo paper from the Dollar Tree. It's only a dollar and it comes in eight sheets. So I need to print a two by three size photos. So in a four by six, I'm going to be able to print four of those. So what I'm going to do with this eight and a half by 11 size photo paper, I'm going to go get my cutter and go ahead and cut them into a four by six size um, sheet. So I'm able to get about two of them in, in one. So then on my printer, I have a regular inkjet printer from Brother. I go ahead and get the paper tray and um, there's an option there to set it where, you know, I'm going to be putting the photo paper. So I'm going to do that so I can go ahead and put my 4x6 uh, paper that I just cut on that slot right there. So my printer prints face down, so you might want to check that with your printer to see how it prints before you start printing your photos. So on my phone, I downloaded this app called PicFrame. This is so far the best that I have found because there's an option to choose a 2x3 size. And then I get this grid for four photos. It would fit perfectly on the 4x6. Then I just open my camera roll and then I choose the four photos that I wanted to print for this particular paper. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and save it. You can make the adjustments here as well to see, make sure the, uh, the photos are centered or however you want it. Then you go ahead and hit share and then save. And then, then it gets saved on your um, camera roll okay and then after that then you open your photos on your phone go ahead and tap into the one that you just created and then you are going to you are going to hit print and then it's going to be sent to the printer and start printing So now you just wait until the photos are done printing and then once you get the picture you can just go ahead and cut them and you're ready for memory keeping. <laughs> 